Deputy City Clerk to read the yeses. The yes votes are 1, 2, 3, and 7. We'll, we'll have that corrected Thursday night. <laughs> okay. Jack, Jack, you'll have that next Thursday night. Okay, we're now back on the main item. Uh, for the second time, the council member of the 3rd District, Chris Olson. All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. In reading through this, I couldn't find anything dealing with the athletic fields in here, and I believe those are a unique situation to the city, and I believe that they should be exempt uh, from this, and I'll make that motion if I can get a second, please. Thank you. I don't, I didn't hear a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Mr. Olson, could you re repeat your amendment, please? I believe that the athletic field should be exempt. You have uh, UWL, uh, Loggers Field, um, I, I can't think of any more off the top of my head, or Swanson, um, University I already stated. You know, and, and these are places that in 15 years they're going to lose their electronic billboards. And I just don't think we want to do that. In most situations, they don't affect the driving uh, at all in the city. So I believe we should exempt athletic fields. Thank you. On the amendment, uh, Council Member of the 8th District, Bob Sequest. Um, Mr. Olson is unusually correct here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Olson. Uh, he, he is correct. Um, that they should be exempted, but they, they are not included in this, and they're not covered by this ordinance. Um, and I, somehow I have in my mind that um, uh, Mrs. Richman uh, entered this phrase uh, back during the Sign Ordinance Review Committee, and there was talk of including um, the athletic fields, and the committee voted it down. It's not part of this ordinance, so I, I don't think that an exemption is needed in this case. I, I agree with you that um, that was the committee's intention is not to include the athletic fields and to allow the, um, these displays. And as a matter of fact, uh, UWL is in the process of putting up a huge one. Okay. Mr. City Attorney, is that amendment germane? Specifically with the uh, loggers field, it is something that uh, the legal department is looking has been looking at in the context of that uh, lease negotiation. If that were to get started again, it's going to come down to uh, off whether you're going to be used truly as a scoreboard for the event, or are you going to be using it as electronic billboard, uh, at placing that type of advertising on it, or are you just going to use it as a scoreboard? Uh, but at least in the context of loggers, we were looking at that and uh, uh, the sign ordinance having to have some uh, guidance on what, if anything's going to happen on that field. So I guess to cut to the chase here, I'm hearing Mr. Sequel saying that uh, that's not germane to the issue. So should, should that or should that not be on the floor of that amendment? opinion of the legal department, we will be looking at this sign code to determine how the electronic scoreboard, as is being phrased and presented to the legal department at the loggers field, how that's going to affect the loggers field. And again, the issue gets to, are you using it as a scoreboard or are you going to use it for advertising purposes? That, that's what qualifies it as an on-premise or off-premise advertising. For now, I'm going to leave the amendment here. Yeah, Mr. Kirsch. Oh, all right, here we go. All right, uh, currently the sign code exempts all signs from regulation if they're not visible from a public street. So at, um, at uh, Swanson Field, if they want to have an electronic sign display from a 
benefactor or whatever it may be a business, as long as you can't see that from Ranger Drive or Gillette Street, uh, we don't regulate signs that cannot be viewed from a public street. In terms of Loggers Field, I believe this went through the council. Um, this is, is this signs from exempt up above? So, uh, signs within the public right-of-way on public property except athletic event scoreboard structures not to exceed 1,440 square feet, which I think may be the size of the Logger Stadium sign, with a width of no more than 36 feet, height of 50 feet, and other signs placed on public land when approved by the owners of the public land and the Common Council, or is otherwise expressly permitted by the Board of Public Works and the Building Inspection Department, Signs shall conform in all other respects. So this is signs. Um, it says, provided, however, no commercial or private advertising shall be permitted on the back side of any athletic scoreboard which is visible from a state or federal highway. So I believe scoreboards, uh, can you go up to the top? if they're on public property and as the city attorney said Copeland Park is on city property so it has to be part of the lease etc cetera, etc cetera. I remember amending this code so that the loggers could have a scoreboard so again other signage we don't regulate if you can't see it from a public street 